I am so excited to share with you these slipper socks because they are a long time coming for me. <laughs> Had them ready to go, I thought last year and then pulled them last minute. So I'm excited that I'm actually bringing them out this year. You are going to need several pieces since we're making slipper socks. Uh, if you have two feet, you need two sets of everything. So I've got main, I've got two main and two lining of the regular boot part, two main and two lining of the toe, and two main and two lining of the sole. Now, um, I am using, I think it's called Grip Stop fabric. I probably said that wrong. Um, I found it in the utility section at Joanne Fabrics. It's got these little like bumpy beads all, all over it. And for me, I mean, you can use any fabric that you want if you wanted to use the same like fuzzy whatever. But for me, uh, I have a lot of hardwood floors in my home and I am clumsy by nature. So <laughs> I prefer to give myself something that helps me not fall on my butt all the time. You can use something else if you'd like. Um, yeah. And... As you can see, I've already pinpointed or put clips on the front and back middle of every piece that we have here, and it's just going to make it a lot easier. This pattern and trick with it is pin, 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 or clip, 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 and you'll find it easier to ease all the curves into everything. Let's get moving. So this is one of the main like boot foot pieces, and so you're just going to, we cut it on the fold, this pattern piece is on the fold, and we're just going to fold it in half, right sides together. And then sew with a half inch seam allowance along this curved point in the front. You've got it stitched together. So what you're gonna do is open up the toe part and grab one of your toe pieces. And we're gonna match this straight edge right here of your toe piece with the seam that you just sewed. So this is gonna be your center point and your two edges. See where that is? We just open it up. We're gonna match it right sides together. I have super fuzzy fabric, so I'm using clips instead of pins today, but you can use whatever works best for you. And I'm gonna sew with a half inch seam allowance right along that seam right there. And look at that, we have most of our boot done. Isn't that wild? super quick so the reason why i already have the points or the the toe front and the heel back middle points already marked off is just to save us a little step when we go to uh attach everything so um this is the outer piece so i'm going to be grabbing this grip stop fabric <laughs> and we are just going to be aligning right sides together the foot opening and the sole. So start with your front points. There is leopard print fuzz all over everywhere. <laughs> and mark it there and then mark the back points, match them up. And then we're just gonna go ahead and ease the curve into each other everywhere else. And I know some people, self-included, are rebellious and don't like using pins and clips that much. But when you're easing a curve like this, I 100% recommend using pins and clips. It will save your life. <laughs> Maybe save some curse words. You never know. You never know what it's going to do for you. So here we are easing it all together. Sometimes I have to adjust a little bit. I promise they do match up. I did the math about a thousand times. So um, sometimes when you're using this fuzzier fabric and thicker, it's harder to get a more accurate cut. Um, just really, really try hard to get everything aligned before you even head to your sewing machine. So that way you know it's all gonna match everywhere like it should. And I'll fix that a little bit. And we are ready to sew. I'm gonna go ahead and sew along the entire outer edge. 
We've got one boot completely sewn and we are going, well, the outer piece. I'm gonna flip this right side out, but we're gonna go ahead and do all those exact same steps, every single one of them with the lining fabric. Okay, we have both a lining piece and a main piece now. Super exciting. So we're just going to have the lining piece with wrong side out and the main piece with right side out. And then we're going to stuff the main piece inside of this lining, shove it in there. <laughs> and we're going to align this final raw edge against each other and you wanna match up your seam and then all the way around the top of the boot because we're going to sew it together. And again, this fuzzy fabric can be a little tricky to use, so just, you know, use clips and pins generously, especially if you're a beginner, but also if you're not. <laughs> um, I recommend using them a lot. So uh, you're gonna wanna sew all the way around the top edge, but leave like a four inch opening um, so we can turn our boot outside. Or, ooh, we can turn our boot right side out. But here it is, so all the way around that. You see we've got it sewn all the way around and I left this opening. So uh, we are going to birth our, um, our slipper right side out and um, you want to get both boots out and then stick the lining inside of your mane. Get it all situated. Sometimes it takes a little encouragement. So everything's lined up. And then our last step is just to close the hole at the top. So you wanna tuck your seam allowance in. You can either blind stitch it close and leave it as is, or you can top stitch around the top edge, whichever works for you the best. But I'm gonna give it some clips. I'm actually just gonna go top stitch it real quick. Again, you can blind stitch it if you want it to be left alone a little bit, but we're almost finished with this whole shoe. We did it. So it was made with enough height in mind that you can fold it down and give it like a cute little cuff or you can wear it tall, whichever way you wanna do it. Um, there is no left and right foot, it's just all the same because it's just meant to be like an oversized slipper sock, something that you can wear at home just to keep your feet nice and cozy and toasty. Um, so repeat all those same steps with your second boot and uh, You've got some Shiver Me slipper socks. <laughs> and I think they'd be great, great holiday gifts. Um, I, I just think I always want more slippers. So maybe I'm not like everyone. <laughs> Who knows? I hope when you do create your slipper sock that you share uh, in the group or on Instagram. And um, I'm excited to see what you create. Happy holidays.